Okay, so we're going to go through some examples of these multi-step conversions using the factor label method today. Um, you can see in this worksheet that you're given in your lesson today, there are lots of conversions that you might need. So we're going to pull up our notebook and go ahead and do these problems. And the first one says 565,900 seconds is how many days? Well, if I look, there is no conversion from seconds to days. I do see a conversion there for hours to seconds, so that'll help. So let's go ahead and write that one down. We know we're going to start with what we have, what we're given. So 3,600 seconds equals one hour. All right, well, do I know a conversion that would take me from hours to days? I don't have one in my list up there, but I do know that 24 hours is one day. So if I use this conversion, I'm going to start with the number that I was given in my worksheet. And I have seconds, so I need to have whatever's on the top needs to be on the bottom in order to cancel it out. So I'm going to use the 3600 seconds. And I'm going to come up with the other side of that conversion. So that would be the one hour. All right, so my seconds cancels. I have hours. I don't want hours. I want days. So i got to use my other conversion. I'm going to say, all right, hours are on top. I need hours to be on the bottom in order to cancel them. And 24 goes on the bottom. 24 goes within hours. And then the other side of that conversion is one day. So I can, now I have my problem laid out. My hours cancel, so I'm left with days, and that's what I wanted in the first place. So if I go ahead and multiply straight across the top, I'm going to get my 565,900 because 565,900 times 1 and times 1 is the same. And the unit that is left there is day. Okay, but I have to multiply straight across the bottom. So I'm going to have to say 3600 times 24. And I cannot do that math in my head. So we're going to pull up our calculator. And we're going to say 3600 times 24 is 86,400. All right, so I am going to take my, and I have to divide these two. So 565,900 divided by 86,400. And that gives me this big old number, 6.54976851855. Woo! Nobody wants to write that many numbers. So we go back to our original number we had. One, two, three, four digits, and then two place-holding zeros that don't really give us any information. So we're going to go with four digits, and we're going to say, okay, one, two, three, four. All right, the seven tells the nine to go up, so I would actually have 6.550. No, the correct answer is this big old number. A correct answer is 6.5. This correct answer, the best, most correct answer is 6.550 days. Okay. So when we do the multi-step conversions, we are still one step at a time. Get rid of seconds, come up with hours. Got rid of hours, came up with days. Oh, days is what we wanted. All right, let's look at another example. Okay, 17 years into minutes. Seventeen years into minutes. Some number of put that line there. Some number of minutes. So let's see. One year is three hundred and sixty five days. All right. But I don't want days, I want minutes. So one day is 24 hours. 
and one hour is 60 minutes. So I can go from there, and that's, that's three. That's a three-stepper. So we're going to go 17 years. And I want to get rid of years. So I'm going to put my unit of years on the bottom. That's this part of the first conversion. And then I'm going to say, all right, 365 days is the second part of that conversion. All right, so years cancels. I want days. I want to get rid of days, I guess. So days will cancel. I need this part of the conversion. One goes with day. And the other part of that next conversion is 24 hours. All right. I don't want hours. I want minutes. So I need to get rid of hours. I'm going to use this part of the conversion, one hour. And I'm going to come up with the other part of that conversion, 60 minutes. All right. So I'm going to multiply straight across the top. And I cannot do that one in my head either. So we'll pull up our calculator and we'll say 17 times 365 times 24 times 60 is 8,935,200. And our hours had canceled, so we have minutes over, well, 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. All of the units on the bottom all canceled out. So our answer is 17 years. And I did not leave myself enough space. But 17 years equals 8,935,200 minutes. Okay. So looking at the conversions that you use, the units have to cancel. And you multiply straight across the top. And we multiplied straight across the bottom. We only had a 1, so that made it super easy. All right. Let's do another example. 43 miles to feet. All right. A sum number of feet. Well... If we go back to our conversions up here, we know that one mile is 5,280 feet. So that's the one we're going to use. So start with what you know. 43 miles. We have miles, so we're going to throw it down on the bottom so that we can cancel out the miles. The number one goes with miles. We're going to come up the other side of the conversion, 5,280. So our miles cancel. We're going to multiply straight across the top, multiply straight across the bottom. On the bottom, we don't really have anything because when we divide by 1, we're going to get that same number. So let's do 43 times 5,280. And that gives us 227,040. And we can put that back up there. All right. Let's keep going. We'll do some more examples. Okay. 165 pounds to kilograms. If we go back up to our to our conversions, we have a pound to kilogram. So that is a one-step equation. That's the same thing that we just did here. And for that example, we have one conversion. We'd have pounds on the bottom, kilograms on the top, and we'd multiply straight across and get the right answer. So let's do a more interesting one than that. Um, yards. We'll do yards to meters. Let's do yards to meters. 100 yards equals some number of meters. Well, hmm. Let's see what our conversions are that we have. We have meters to feet. We have yards to feet. 
but we don't have yards to meters. So we're gonna have to use both of these. We're gonna start with the one that we already have the unit for. We're given 100 yards, so we're gonna start one yard equals three feet. And then we don't want feet though. So we're gonna say 3.28 feet equals one meter. Okay, so let's set up our conversion. We're gonna say 100 yards. Now we, ha we start with yards, so what's on the top has to go on the bottom in order to cancel it. So that's this part of the conversion. We're gonna come up with the other side of that same conversion. So our yards cancel. We come up with feet, but we don't want feet. We want meters, so we need another one. We're gonna come, we have 3.28 feet. And now our feet have canceled. We have to come up with the other side of the conversion. And so now we got a really good example here of go straight across. So we're gonna get 300, 100 times three is three times one. Okay, our units all canceled except for meters. And then we're gonna go straight across the bottom too. So one times 3.28 is 3.28. So then we divide. So when we put that in our calculator, because I can't do that one in my head either. So if we go 300 divided by 3.28, we get 91.46. Okay. So that is our answer. 100 yards equals... 91.46 meters. All right, so those are some good examples for you. If you have those all written down for your notes, that is perfectly fine. And you can, you can even submit a picture of this if you would like for your submission today. But I want to make sure you have plenty of time to do the CK12 conversions. So thank you.